Welcome to Go Beach. This ship behind me is the Mary B. Hume. It was built about 140 years ago almost in 1881. And it was a sailing ship and it had a steam engine um, as an alternative uh, power source. And after many, many years of service, it's been all the way up to Alaska and back. It's now rusting in peace here in Gold Beach not too far away from where it was built. This bridge behind me, this is the Rogue River Bridge or the Isaac Lee Patterson Bridge. It's a very famous bridge here in Oregon. This is one of many bridges that not only, not only were there aesthetic landmarks, it's known as an engineering monument, a national monument to civil engineering. It was built with reinforced concrete and it's one of the first, it's actually the first bridge built in this, uh, this form here, this style in the United States. It was built in 1931. Here in, in Oregon, the weather is very difficult to predict. And here at the coast, it's impossible. I don't know if you can hear this or not. The wind is very strong, so I might have to do this again. But as I tried to say before in the wind, the weather here is very unpredictable. Today was supposed to be raining and storming and huge waves and everything, but all we got was a lot of wind. So it's very difficult to speak uh, with my microphone and my hair is really not cooperating in this direction but it is very difficult to plan to know what you're going to do here because you just never know what you're going to get. It's a beautiful part of the country. There's so much to see and do that it, it's just incredible. It's um, awesome how much there is and how cool all these sea stacks and rocks look. It just makes it look like you're in a different planet or travel back in time or something like that. It's crazy looking. The Oregon coast is much more than seabirds and seals and sea stacks and mountains that disappear in the, in the distance. It's very popular for multiple reasons. There's, as a photographer, there's incredible landscapes everywhere. As a rock hound, there's all kinds of shiny pebbles and rocks and agate especially here in Gold Beach but there is so much to see and do that I'm gonna be busy here in the next few videos. Gold Beach where I am right now is located about 30 miles north of Brookings and in between here and Brookings there's a lot of land to cover there's Cape Sebastian there's 
Myers Creek Beach, Samuel Boardman State Park Scenic Corridor. There's so many places to explore that we're going to be very busy. So this, this video was meant to be a short introduction uh, to the area, to Gold Beach, to the Oregon coast. This is my first video of 2021. And I know I'm gonna be busy. There's a lot of stuff to do here. So stay tuned for a lot more of the coast. I got some big plans coming for this year. And hopefully we can, uh, we can make the best out of this year, just as we did with the last year. This is the end of the day here in Gold Beach. Uh, I'm setting up now for sunset. I got my graduated filters. I'm just waiting for the sun to peek through the fog. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but we'll see. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. It really does help me out a lot. And we'll see you next time. I'll leave you with some of these videos and pictures from uh, sunset right here in Gold Beach with the Kitchen Rock in the foreground. Bye. Mm -hmm.